Hello, Mr. Greg. Hello, Mr. Stewart. So you've escaped from Did You Know Gaming and didn't learn your lesson last time. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I crawled my way back out of the dungeon they keep me in. <laughs> And you wish you'd stayed there because <laughs> it's weird foreign food time again. Yay. Yay. I hope it's as delicious as last time. Uh, do you know, last time things got better as we went along, I it's felt. It's true. Yep. It's true. I don't know what's happening this time as we begin with, from our best friends at Regent, Ubi Cake. Ube? Ubi? Ube? I, I, guess Ube? That's, I guess that's Ube. Ube, yeah, Ube, I'm going for that. Yeah, Ube cake. Not Uber cake. It'd be like yeah, a Uber cake. cake or something. Yeah. <laughs> Uber vice. <laughs> das ist der Uber cake. Luscious Ube flavour wrapped in a light, delectable sponge cake. So that's Ube is some sort of purple fruit? That's. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm 100%. That's I, I feel like I've come across it before in my life, but I cannot place it. This is from the Philippines. Uh, it might be in date. Wow. Best before. It's a real treat. The, the best before date is literally missing. <laughs> <laughs> Big red flag there. Yeah, slight worry. Mould cake. Well, I do enjoy the uh, lovely golden scene on the top here, which you have to put in the right light before you can see. Mm, it's reminiscent of uh, growing up on the farm. Uh, and eating your ube. Yeah. Well, oh god. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not mm. Mm. Well, that, this is off to a good start, Greg. Um, <laughs> It doesn't exactly ref reflect the uh, delicious gold nature that I was promised. Uh, no. No, look, look at that. And now look at this shit cake. Actual shit cake. Um, great. Well, I'm going to rip it in half. And then I, this is the sort of thing we're going to sniff before we eat, isn't it? Ooh. Uh, please have the small oh, bit thanks. as you're the guest. I'll make you eat less. No. Ooh. It looks like meat. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, smells good. It does smell good. It just tastes smells of sugary cake, basically. Yeah. Hmm. Well, it is supposed to be luscious. Well, let's see how luscious. Yeah. Oh, it smells so sweet. Oh god. It's sugary. It's cakey. It's a little bit flaky. And it tastes of basically nothing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's not really any flavour at all. No. Flavour of. It, basically, it's like those cheap sponge cakes you can buy exactly. for the preservatives and, and stuff. And it's exactly the same texture as well, where it's more like sand than cake. Yeah, that yes. It's kind of wet sand. Mm. Yeah, so dry and just dusty. And <laughs> How could it be so dry and so wet at the same time? <laughs> this is the conundrum of the ube cake. Um, yeah, it's fine. It doesn't really taste fine. of anything. Yeah, it just tastes a bit of like granulated sugar. Yeah. I was disappointed. I thought we were going to have some sort of major taste failure when I saw the colour of it, but uh, no. 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 I mean, I ate the whole bit. Yeah. <laughs> I see anything. Greg is literally eating the whole thing. <laughs> like a bin. But I could happily eat it. It's, yeah. It's, it's fine. fine. Yeah. Yeah. It's the one where you'd tell the, the person who served it to you, you'd be like, oh, it's so good. So, yeah. And, and then just like, and then, I'll, yeah, not going to be ordering that again. Talk to your friends later and be like, <coughs> what the fuck is that? Yeah. <laughs> Probably three quid that was. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> next is slightly less traditional. Stroop waffle, except it's not a Stroop waffle. It is a Russian happy cow cream cheese waffle. Lovely. S uh, Stroop waffle, but cheese? I like <laughs> how if you read that, it says happy cow cream, which <laughs> does not sound as <laughs> <laughs> That's not cream. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. So, um, looking at the dates on this, best before 29th of October last year. Great. So that's a good start. I like aged cheese. It's yeah. It's a good kind. It's, it's matured. Um, it's, it's not been kept anywhere cool either. So, uh, yeah. <clears throat> well, we've got at least one each. Yeah. Brilliant. I'm looking Tremendous. for that, that super soft Ooh, two waffle Oh, God. Oh, the, the cheese is like liquidy. Oh, no. It's actually filled with cream cheese, isn't See, it? It literally is. Okay. Okay. I'm oh. smelling it. Oh, oh, very, very cardboardy smell. Oh wow, yeah, it smells like an Amazon package. Yeah, <laughs> it does. This episode is sponsored by Amazon. Amazon. Yeah. Hashtag not spawn. Um, <laughs> we we would never yeah. ever accept any sort of corporate gifts at all. Um, this literally smells like a wood cutting factory or something. It is. Yeah, this is so cardboardy and woody. I'm going to suggest taking a small bite just in case it is literally rancid. Sure. Just just to yeah, warn because you. it's got a nice sort of grey. A nice grey to the cheese. So, yeah. Um, yeah. 
Mm. Okay, here we go. Right. <coughs> nibble, nibble. Oh. Oh, God. Tastes like it smells. Yeah. It just tastes of cardboard. Oh. Oh, that's not good. I think it's probably gone off. Yeah, I think, it, I think it has gone off, yeah. Because it's got that real... Yeah. That real musty flavour. Yeah. Cardboard and rot together yeah. at last. I think oh. maybe this is the musk that the musk from the last episode <laughs> we're looking for. <laughs> it's escaped from one food into another. So, because the, they've absolutely nailed the texture of mm. an actual Stroop waffle. Like, it's soft and caramelly, but, yeah. you know, it tastes like a bin. So. Yeah, it really does. There's no taste of cheese to it at all. No. I think that's probably because they're rancid. Uh, thanks for coming, Greg. Yeah. <laughs> Always a pleasure. I hope you have an iron constitution. Or at the very least, you live near a hospital. Uh, <clears throat> God, yeah. Well, they were probably ranted. If there's yep. any Russians uh, watching who would like to say what they actually taste like, or indeed if they do just taste like yeah, that. Maybe, yeah, maybe that's totally <laughs> legit. Yeah. And they're like, what do you mean? That's the nuanced yeah. flavour that you yeah. don't understand. <laughs> yeah. Just the joy of cardboard. Yeah. Oh my God. If that's an acquired taste, just... I'd rather not acquire it. The joy of cardboard. Most boring <laughs> book ever. Right. <clears throat> Let's take the taste away with this hyperactive freak. Zazoli mixer. Mm. Cactus masagli from Poland. Um, cactus and lemon candy. Sweet prickly pear candies with a fizzy and tart lemon filling. All right. So what, what are we expecting? A sort of... Um... Maniac clown space chemist made them, apparently. <laughs> yeah. He looks trustworthy, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's Pac-Man under heavy disguise. Yeah, I mean, come on. Oh, come my on. God. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> All those pills have finally gotten to him. Filled fizzy caramels with cactus flavour and lemon flavour filling. Mm. Well, can't argue with that. Yeah. Oh, I can't argue with the package. Can we get that? So they just... Is it going to be like a lemon sherbet, but, but cactus, cactus flavoured? <laughs> is cactus something you really eat? I've never heard I've, of people I've eating eaten cactus. cactus. Yeah, and you can also get like cactus drinks as well. I think. <gasps> oh, I common. have seen cactus drinks. That is true, yeah. actually, yes. I've uh, actually had quite a fancy restaurant I ate from cactus. Was it good? It was good. It they tasted sm- like very cucumbery in a way. They smell slightly... I don't want to say cactusy, but but... Um, <laughs> There's definitely an earthiness to them. them. Yeah. It's not unpleasant either. They're a very greeny colour. They've really got the essence of cactus. <laughs> essence of cactus. They're my favourite aftershave. Right, here goes. Oh, they're really nice. Yeah. Good. Mm. It's like a lemon sherbet, but with cactus flavour. The cactus is kind of sweet. Mm. Slightly citrusy, maybe there's a bit of lemon in there too. Really nice. Yeah, I would eat them. It's very like non offensive sweet, mm. not overly sweet. Mm. Now we're going to have to sit here for 50 years until yeah, we get to the centre. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> We've actually eaten the sweets and they're very nice. And Greg managed to put in words what I couldn't remember what it smelt of earlier cucumber, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Good. And Good. I really enjoyed those. Mm. And inside is literally a load of fizzy lemon sherbet. Yeah. Delicious, mm. though. Yeah. yeah. Those are really good. I would recommend these to all people who yes. can consume sugar. And everybody who can't as well. Hopefully they make a sugar-free version. Yeah. Oh, sugar-free cactus. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Take out Living the lemon. The dream. Just yes. cactus flavour. Yeah. Sugar-free cactus. I can't imagine there's that much sugar in a cactus anyway. But... Anyway, uh, that was nice. Let's have something that isn't... <clears throat> well, I'm, I'm judging ahead of time, but I don't like the concept of this one. Rosada's mayonnaise flavour crisps. I've got nothing against mayonnaise, no. but I don't want mayonnaise flavour crisps. The most egregious part of this packet is that they quite clearly have a bowl of dipping mayonnaise in <laughs> for their crisps. And if you dip crisps in mayonnaise, you are a wrong un. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, God. <laughs> These aren't mayonnaise enough. <laughs> yeah. More mayonnaise. Maybe we'll put some coleslaw in there <laughs> while you're at it. <laughs> God, UP, your smile fuses us. Um, yeah, so imported and distributed by Barbary International Incorporated in Miami, Florida. Thanks. Best before January this year. So only six months out of date. Delicious. Tremendous. Like yeah. Mayonnaise, good and old. Here's the mayonnaise loving family. <laughs> we love mayonnaise. <laughs> El ritmo di tu mundo. To the pace of your world. 
Nice. My the pace of my world doesn't involve mayonnaise generally, but uh, I'm trying to work out what the other flavours are. It looks like chicken drumsticks, lime, and blue. <laughs> the the classic, the three classics. <laughs> Kind of a bag of blue and onion, please. Yeah, well, um, what can we do except open up? And well, I mean, they just look like ruffled crisps. Yeah. That's understandable. Standard crinkle cut. I'm going to have a huff. Just smell exactly of ready solid crisps. Yeah, they do. I'm not getting a full mayonnaise vibe out of that. No, I'm going to take a couple and shove them in my gob simultaneously. Sure. Specifically, these ones. Here we go. Let's go back. Marvellous. Right. Just they, they like just smell of crisps, really. Yeah. Now I'm not getting anything extra or different to no. already salted. Um, that may change when I chew them up in my gob, which I'm about to do. Oh, they do form a bit of a weird film in the mouth. They're definitely a little bit stale. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they are a little bit stale. That's true. Um, yeah, in fact, I'm not getting much past the staleness. I wouldn't have known they were mayonnaise flavoured. Never would have guessed in a million years that that was nope. supposed to be mayonnaise flavoured. I don't know, what country are these from? Uh, that is a good question. Colombia. Interesting. I wonder yeah. if they call mayonnaise something totally different. I don't know, because that's mayonnaise, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It does. There is sort of a, like a mustardiness at the end, Yeah, I've found. But then maybe that's just because the crisps are a bit tainted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> tainted crisps. <laughs> Guaranteed taint free or not anymore. Um, yeah, I would have said I could believe they were mayonnaise flavoured, but it's very subtle. Yeah. Yeah, they don't taste. I'm going to try another one. Go for it. But I'm I not. Get, like, a real, I want to get a real coated one. See mm -hmm. if I can get, you know. Like, one of the ones from the bottom of the packet. Yeah, just get <laughs> loads of these are really burnt. Which yeah. Is nice. Yeah, they're not very well done. They're sort of very heavily burnt. Some mm. of them. It is not mayonnaise, really. No. Which is a good thing, because they're perfectly pleasant. Yeah. It's just like a ready salted crisp with a little hint of something. Maybe There's... that is the fact they've gone off slightly, I don't know. Yeah, there is a slight tanginess. Yeah. But... They're fine? Yeah. That's Texture's a... still fine, yeah. It's a shame half of them are burnt. Yeah. Because they yeah. do taste pretty burnt as well, the burnt ones. Quality control, UP. Come on. God, yeah, bloody hell. Yeah. It looks like they were hand cooking them with a the blowtorch. Yeah. Bloody yeah. wars. Well, oh. that's it, they just put them out on a rack, dump a bunch of mayonnaise on there, just, <laughs> yeah. just bake it on. <laughs> that's how you make them, right? It is now. Well, let's uh, finish up with Pulperindo, mm. which again sounds like a playground insult. Um, with real fruit. These are hot and salted tamarind pulp candy. Okay. Hot okay. and salted. Not something I generally think look for in a candy, I wouldn't have said. No, it's odd to put the word candy there. Because yeah. it implies that they are also sweet as well as hot and salted. But which I presume they are. So that's something to look forward to. Mm. I've got no idea if it's in date. Oh it is, it doesn't go out of date till November. We are good right. on this one. I don't like their little character. It it looks like a poo. Mr. Yeah. Hanky the Christmas Pooh superhero version. It's like Boogerman's nemesis. Oh God, <laughs> Boogerman. That, the days when games were games and that game existed. Yeah. Um, right, I'm going to open it up and reveal what really does look like squashed tamarind, to be mm. honest with you. Yeah. It's like one of those standard sort of fruit bar things that you get. Yeah, that, yeah, pulped up. Mm. I don't know, why is it usually like strawberry and newspapers or something yeah, like that? Yeah, that's right. God. Right, how do we rip this in half? We don't, is the answer to that, because it's very really soft. You may have to skew his fingers here, Mr. Greg, I'm afraid. It's all right. I did wash them once. It can't be much worse than the... Uh, what we're going to eat. Oh, got a nice greyness to that bit. Is, yeah, is that some mm. sort of sugar on it, or the salt coming out? Could be the packet stuck. Yeah. Mm. So this is all nice and sweaty. Yeah. Brilliant. Oh, yes, sweaty and stuff stuck to it. But brilliant. What does it smell of? Oh, God, very sweet, fruity yeah. smell. Like raisins. Like a pack it's of raisins. Yeah, that's it. Freshly opened pack of raisins. It smells just like raisins. Mm. I wonder how much newspaper there is in there. Mm. I can't see any headlines. Right, I'm going to take a bite. Oh. 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 It is salty. Wow, and it is hot. Bloody hell. Oh, oh God. It's like those lollies we had last time. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh, it's so hot. It's why is it? Why is it so chilly, Flo? Oh, that is pretty spicy. Much oh, spicier God. than I thought. It's properly spicy. What yeah. the fuck is going on? The weird thing about it is that it's oh. like soft and chewy, but it's loaded with sugar. Mm. So it's like still really. Oh, I've had to spit mine onto the cheese waffles. Oh. <laughs> no, the cheese waffles. <laughs> oh, oh mm. dear. I mean, the flavour of it is horrible. Yeah, it's really <laughs> horrible. You're dealing with this very well. These are absolutely <laughs> disgusting. Yeah. Oh, I thought that'd be quite I nice. I quite like the spiciness, but the problem is everything else that goes with it is revolting. Oh, that is really not a pleasant thing at all. I oh. think we found out what flavour those lollies were. Yeah. <laughs> or oh, this is also hot car flavour. There's mm. always that. This is why you don't leave dogs in the current hot day. Yeah. They end up tasting that in their mouths. <laughs> yeah. and no dog deserves it. I thought you were going to say because they make them into these bars. <laughs> <laughs> They're made from dogs that died in Hong Kong. Oh, God. It's kind of what it tastes like. It's got that sadness to it. Yeah. <laughs> mm, you can really taste the suffering. The saltiness is from mm. the child's tears. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> and the vague um, floral taste to it is the air freshener. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Like the magic tree in the front of the car. What did they do with Bingo? Shut up and eat your snack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's gone over the Rainbow oh, Bridge to yeah. the Tamarind Factory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that that was an experience. Yeah. Oh, I would not eat that again. No, that was. I can't believe how hot it was, as in a spicy. I mean, it was not going to blow your head off spicy, but mm. I wasn't expecting it to actually be spicy at all. No, for a fruit bar, Ooh. you don't you do do not anticipate that level of spice. Mm. Absolutely. So mm. Oh God. Well. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm not having that again. Well, thank you for joining us there, Mr. Greg. No problem. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> now we've got to go and find something to take away the taste of tamarind. Yes. Oh, God. The purge. Oh, tamarind purge. That's a really good name for, like, a defence against the dark arts teacher from <laughs> Harry Potter. Tamarind purge, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're going now. Bye. Bye. Subscribe for more.